Hey there, it's Claire here from The Wellness Project and welcome to today's vlog. So today's vlog is off the back of something that I wrote to my tribe, my newsletter subscription list. Now as a little side note, if you haven't joined that already, please do because I share a lot of personal stuff on there and I keep it very, very real and offer a lot of added advice and tips and techniques that are just for my newsletter subscription. So however, having said that, I have had such a huge response to this particular post that I wanted to open up this discussion with you guys here on the vlog. So what I wrote about was about when somebody lets you down and how to handle that. And I'm not surprised that I had such a lot of feedback because people are continuously feeling like they're getting let down, you know, all the time by friends and family and colleagues. And it's a really fascinating concept to explore. You know, what do I do when somebody lets me down? And what is that balance between what they are doing to me and what I'm supposed to do in reaction to that versus staying strong and in my power and making sure that I'm not being hard done by. So I wanted to clarify something for you guys here. In that newsletter subscription list, that letter that I wrote, I shared that for me what had come, what it all came down to was expectations came down to realizing that in order for me to really move on from this issue that I had with a friend, this person that I felt had let me down, not a really small thing, just so you know, I'm going to clarify that, I had to drop my expectation. I had to realize that I had expectations that she was supposed to meet, but she had no idea about those expectations. And why should she meet them? She's her own person. And just because I believed one thing doesn't mean that that's right for her. And when I started to really sit with the expectations that I had, I realized that those expectations were actually going to cause me to be quite frustrated and upset and annoyed and maybe even pull myself away from her. Whereas when I dropped the expectations that I had and just accepted that this is just what she'd done for whatever reason, without judgment, I was able to really completely let go of all those negative emotions and just be with the situation from a neutral space. Now what I wanted to open up here with you guys is I had a few people write back to me with quite big examples of when someone had let them down. And of course there was a lot more confusion and a lot more emotion and a lot more heartache that was coming through these emails. A lot of these people were feeling like, well, how do I do what you've just described? How do I identify those expectations and then drop them when this is such a big scale? Now this is where the conversation about finding that balance between staying in your power and not letting someone walk all over you versus that more spiritually minded response of have my expectations got in the way here and can I drop them? Can I move forward from this place? Now there's something I have to clarify here. The tactic and the strategy is the same. Identify your expectations. See if maybe they were quite one-sided see if maybe they were mostly about you and see if you can soften those expectations and actually start to assess the situation from a space that is free of expectations and agenda and definitely free of judgment. It is the same process. However, it's going to be more challenging, obviously. What needs to be said here though is at the same time you are in your power feel free to communicate to that person that they've let you down and why only after you have done the work on yourself and start to understand what's going on with you and what your expectations are about feel free to communicate to that person that perhaps there needs to be a solution or feel free to simply just state what's going on without looking for an answer or without looking for an outcome you have every right to care for yourself on an emotional and a mental and even a physical level when somebody else is letting you down. Maybe that's simply walking away. Maybe that's dropping your expectations and just having nothing else to do with it. Maybe it's learning the lesson that you're supposed to learn or all three of those. And maybe in addition to that, it's also about opening up the dialogue and the communication with that person and to say, FYI, that's not cool with me. You've let me down. And I understand that maybe this is not intended, but you have, and how do we move forward from this? So open up a two-way conversation with that person. 
And by doing so, you're letting that person know that you love and respect yourself enough to not be trampled all over. And to bring it back to my situation, I did actually say, wow, really, this is what you're choosing to do? But in that moment, I very clearly got the message, drop your expectations, Claire. This is not a big enough thing to fight over. This is not a big enough battle. In fact, the thing that I needed most was to let it go. And that was a very quick lesson for me in that moment. However, I have been in situations before where I have done that, dropped the expectations and let it go, but then also gone, no. Just so you know, that wasn't cool. And we need to work on that for the future, for both of our sake. So I just wanted to clarify with that expectation conversation, that you must do the work on yourself. You must look at the reflection. You must understand where am I kind of playing in a sticky mess here. But that doesn't mean that you can't be in your power and you can't put yourself first and you can't love and respect yourself and make that known to that person. So someone letting you down doesn't have to be this big, dramatic, dynamic, explosive event. It can be something that you both learn and grow from. And if that simply just means you open up in a opening up a dialogue, then hey, what's wrong with that? Okay, so any questions, any comments? Perhaps you have an experience where someone has let you down and you've handled it in a particular way and you'd love to share that. I would love to read all of those comments below. And let me know what your thoughts are about what I've shared today. So much love to you. Bye.